The Philippines and Slovakia has the weirdest way of celebrating Easter holiday and in this video, you're gonna see why! Hi everyone, my name is Kim and I'm a Filipina living here in Slovakia. And in this video, I'm gonna compare how Philippines and Slovakia celebrate their Easter holiday. Ahojte! Vitajte na mojom YouTube kanali. Volam sa Kim. Ja som Filipinka. Žijot sana Slovensku. I think it's pretty obvious that Easter is one of the most anticipated holiday of the year. Although in the Philippines, we actually call it Holy Week. Let's start with the Philippines, where the traditions are highly influenced by the Spanish. Well, because we were colonized by them for hundreds of years. Just like in Slovakia, in the Philippines, we also have a long holiday from work. We stop working from Maundy Thursday until Easter Sunday, where all the shops, establishments are really close. But even before that, some of the hardcore devotees start observing some cultural traditions like Ash Wednesday, and I think for this year, it was sometime in February. During Ash Wednesdays, the Filipinos attend Mass where the priests would mark their forehead with a cross made of ash. This serves as a reminder of the solemnity of human mortality and that we should reconcile with God. I also consider this as the start of Lenten season in the Philippines. And then there is Palm Sunday where I think this year it was on March 28th. During this day, the Catholic devotees are attending a mass with their palm leaves which we call the Tagalog Palaspas so that the priest can bless them. Lot of memories during Palm Sunday because I remember when I was a kid I was so tiny and I was always carrying these palm leaves and trying to get into the crowd so that I can get that holy water on my palm leaves because the Filipino believes that these blessed palm leaves will actually scare away the ghosts, the bad spirits, the devils in their house, and will bring good luck to their family. I know, it's crazy. The week after, which we call the Holy Week, a lot of processions in the street will happen. But I think the most anticipated and the most popular, I believe, is the procession called Flagellant Procession. And in Tagalog or in Filipino, we call it penitentia. I'm pretty sure that a lot of you guys have seen this in the news because Philippines is quite popular with this. And I think I have one viewer who actually asked me about it. In this procession, you will see devotees mortify their own flesh by weeping. They walk on the street with crowns made of thorn, just like Jesus, and then they whip their back with some kind of metal chain or something. And on the end of the procession, there are some devotees who would go further and would have themselves nailed into the cross, just like Jesus. Basically, this tradition is to imitate the suffering of Jesus. The devotees believe that in this way, they are sharing the pain that Jesus had before he died. I know, pretty heavy stuff. I remember I didn't like it when I was a kid as well, but my brothers always wanted to watch, so we always go. I would stand on the side of the street and the blood would splash on me from the men who are whipping themselves. In Slovakia, there is also a similar tradition of whipping, <laughs> but I would say it's far more gentler than that of the Philippines. I don't know if Slovaks are also practicing this, but in the Philippines, 40 days prior to the Easter, we do fasting. And usually, the most common is not eating meat. And the biggest fasting happens on the Good Friday. And during this time, you can expect that the prices of the vegetables and the seafoods in the Philippines will go up 
just because people are avoiding to eat meat. But what I like the most is the Maldi Thursday in Slovakia, which they call Green Thursday. I'm not sure why. During this day, the ladies of the house are so busy preparing, baking, cooking, Easter food. The most common food during Easter here in Slovakia are pastries, breads, egg, um, cheese. There's also hrudka or smoke pork that came from Zabiachka. I actually made a video about that so make sure to watch it as well. I think in general here in Europe the most popular activity especially for kids are painting these eggs which here in Slovakia they call it kraslice. Kraslice. <laughs> Apart from these, the ladies of the house decorate the home with um, Easter symbols like lambs, um, small bunnies, yellow cheeks, eggs, flowers. I'm not really sure what are the meanings of these symbols. So if you guys know, leave me in the comment below. Also, people would collect this plant or flower called Zlati Dazd. Did I pronounce that right? <laughs> Zlati Dazd. And they put it on the water and they hang their eggs, these decorated eggs on it. But I think nowadays they don't collect it anymore because they can easily buy it in an open market. I saw it in Militachova last time, I believe. And then the men are also collecting willow branches to make the kobach. <laughs> and this is the whip, guys, that I am telling you about which the men are gonna use to whip the woman of the house. Then on Easter Monday, the girls have to wake up so early in the morning so that they can avoid the thing called oblivachka, <laughs> where the men are actually splashing water on them. I think it's so cruel. If it's me, I would be really, really annoyed. Hey, baby. <laughs> that splashing water to the woman will make them beautiful and healthy throughout the year and then the men will go through their village or maybe just the relatives to get all the women splash them water and whip them with the korbach but they have to do this before noon because it's said to be impolite to splash water in the afternoon some of the men don't carry water but they have this stinky perfume which they use to spray on the girls and i heard the smell is not really nice <laughs> And after all these bizarre actions of men, the woman would have to reward them with some sweets, chocolate eggs, maybe sometimes even money as a thank you for the water splashing and the whipping. And for all their men, they are rewarded with alcohol and some treats. not only that they said that the more guys visit a girl to splash water and whip her the more the girl should be proud this will surely angry the feminists of the world <laughs> but this is a cultural heritage here in slovakia so what can we do all right guys that's it for me today i hope that this video was informative and entertaining for you let me know what you think about the eastern traditions of these two countries do you see some similarities or big differences with your own country or maybe your own country has a unique eastern traditions too let me know guys in the comment below. You know that I love reading all your comments. As usual, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you will always be notified whenever I have uploaded a new video. And also special thanks to my members who are supporting my creative journey here in YouTube. If you guys want to support me as well, you can click the join button or click in the link in the description below and you will be my star. Now tak, dobre, dziakujem, ciao, ciao.